Hi, hello and welcome. It's time to paint another page in my handmade tiny sketchbook. And this time I'm gonna practice values. So you see me painting a Studio Deeply painting and that taught me that values and shapes are very, very important. And so I thought it was time to practice a little bit more with those values. And to do that, I'm gonna try and paint something in only three colors or three tones or however you want to call it. I want to have a dark one, a medium one and a light one. And the challenge that I set for myself is not to mix anything, not to smudge anything out. I can use dry brush technique, that's no problem, but I'm not gonna go over it with water, blending all the edges together, which is what I normally do. And normally that looks great on small scale, but when you have a bigger painting, you really miss those hard edges. So for now, I just wanted to concentrate on getting the values right, having the lightest parts where the lightest parts are, the darkest part where the darkest parts are. And I think I'm gonna practice this a couple of times. I'm very proud that I did only use these three colors, only in the end did I cheat with using just a tip of white in the eye, because I also wanted the page to be pretty. <laughs> and the light color dried a little bit too dark for me for to have that little flint in the eye. So yeah, that's what I'm doing here. I highly recommend doing it as well. I learned a lot from this and from close by, maybe it doesn't look that great to me, but when I leave my sketchbook open and return to it uh, from a little bit farther away, it looks really good because it has that high contrast and it has all those values, right? Another trick I learned that you can do, if you ever wanna practice this yourself, is to take a picture of your artwork and turn it to black and white. And then you can see if all the values are correct. Maybe you use loads of colors, but all in the same value range. So then if you turn it to black and white, it will just look like a gray smudge. And if you had the values right, you have dark darks and light lights. That's all that I wanted to talk about for today. Thank you so much in advance for watching. I will let you listen to some music while I paint this piece. Um, yeah, you really don't know how much it means to me that you're watching this. So <laughs> thank you again and see you next time. Goodbye.